Hello and welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if this is your first time. Uh, if it is your first time, I strongly recommend you go back to the start of this little Euro Truck series of mine. Uh, we are basically trying to drive every brand of truck with every uh, private trailer and make 5 million with each trailer. It's, uh, sounds simple, but it's, uh, it's not so simple. It, it's taking a lot of time. We also have a little side uh, challenge of not crashing per at least once. Um, we've accomplished it once, um, but every other session I have had, I have crashed, and um, we would like to avoid that. Uh, so that is my little private aim: to not crash the vehicle during a contract. We'll see. Um, so this is episode eight. Uh, we have a preloaded contract which we picked up at the end of episode seven, which is for motorcycles. We're already loaded up, and it's going from Coimbra, which is probably not how you pronounce it and it's going to Porto Vecchio and it will net us 64,560 um, it is 1,270 miles away this might be the only contract of today's episode we'll see how we go um, if there's a nice short one I might do another one at the end of it but either way uh, at the end of the video I will do a recap of all the contracts covered in this episode as well as give you the total for the trailer that we're using at the moment which is the Curtain Cider and uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, as usual, I will turn the truck around and get us to the exit point, which is just behind me. And then I will go silent for the trip. Um, it will be done in times 5 or 10 speed, I haven't decided yet. And I will put on some decent music for you to listen to whilst you enjoy the sped up journey and you can have a, a laugh at what will eventually be my first crash of the day. I'm sure of it. So, yeah, let's start the truck. That's always a good idea. Lose the parking brake. Now, the last time I tried to do a hard turn, I got the trailer stuck. So, let's see if we can get it a little bit wider this time and not hit the barrels. Around and around and around we go. Yes, yes. Fantastic. Let me touch and go whether that was going to actually. Uh, let's get the trailer around there. So, let's change that so I can see the map. Would be helpful. So, I will stop us there. Right, so this is the point where I will go silent and you can enjoy some enjoyable, relaxing music. Uh, hopefully, you'll stick around and watch me uh, drive my way into a problem or money. Either way, we will see you at Porto Vecchio, a lovely little Italian island.
welcome to Porto Vecchio. Uh, <laughs> no damage. Uh, I don't even think I bumped anything that time. A uh, small mess up at the end. I say small. Uh, I had trouble parking. Uh, that's one for me. I normally do the parking quite well, but never mind. Uh, we are here. We've done it. So let's turn the engine off. Hand the contract in gone up a level I do believe, so a little bit more eco driving and let's see what we've got on offer wow that's uh, 560 miles land distance and a whole lot of ferry distance but uh, I think we're going to take that one and do that one um, all things considered if you uh, take in consideration the ferry distances, we're only doing 500 miles driving, so uh, I'm fine with that. So, empty wine bottles. Porto... Vecchio... all the way over to... Podgorica? Somewhere in Montenegro. Interesting name. Don't think I've ever been there. Could be wrong, we'll soon find out. And that will net us another 29,747 to go with the 64,560 we've just put in on this one. Gives us almost 100,000. So we will grab that. Looks like we're going to be doing two three ferry trips we're going to have to go from Porto Vecchio to Cesare and then drive down to Cagliari ferry over to Naples drive to Bari ferry over to Dures in Albania and then it's a straight drive up to Podor Podorica I'm butchering names again in Montenegro so uh, yeah, let's crack on. Um, I will take the job. I will get us turned around if I can. It's a big if. Uh, we've got fuel because I fueled up just before we pulled in. It's a pity we can't take the ferry that's right next to us. That'd save us a bit of time. So we'll pull around here, and once again. Uh, I will shut up, uh, you can enjoy the sped up trip, uh, and, in, and enjoy the music I put on for you, and we will speak again when we arrive at our destination for our recap and conclusion. Speak to you soon.
Welcome to Podorica, I'm probably not pronouncing that right, I do apologise if anybody's from this area and I've just ruined the name of their town. Uh, no offence meant, meant, meant there at all, uh, but we are done with our contract. Uh, two contracts in a row where I haven't hit anything. Um, I'm starting to wonder what's going on, uh, it's been a while since I've accomplished that. so <laughs> I'm quite happy with myself over that. So we will shut off the engine. And the contract in. See what we've got for the next. Oh, that's nice. We won't be doing this one now, but we will pick it up. Ready for the uh, the next episode. It's going from. Blorica to Turku? Ooh, that's a long way. Oh, All the way up to Finland. But, you know, 82,000. I'm not going to sniff at that. As long as the contract remains. As long as uh, Eurotruck doesn't do a massive update and cancel it for me. So we'll grab that one. So, this is where we wrap up episode 8. Uh, thank you all very much for joining me. I hope you really enjoyed the ride. Um, uh, there will be a recap shortly of both contracts. And I will put on the trailer total. Which should put us past 1.5 million now. So we're edging ever closer to the halfway point. So, uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. If you really enjoyed this episode, a thumbs up would be hugely appreciated. Leave us a comment if you feel like it. Um, and if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. Other than that, I will see you all in the next one.